Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. My name is Gat, and welcome back to Making Lovers. Last time was... Oh my god, we keep getting interrupted by the parents. Then, um, you know, Aiko names my penis Hiroshi. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Stop calling my, my, my man me Hiroshi. Then, we find out that the mom and the dad in the game, you know... And I go like, no! And now it's a brand new day, so let us continue. Good work, everyone. I'm clocking out. Alright, be careful on your way back, temp guy. Phew. I sure worked hard today. It's a little past 2 p.m. After busting my ass all morning, I'm dead tired. Okay, what to do now? Aiko's doing something at school today. I have no idea when she's getting back, so I guess I'll just wander around and kill some time by myself today. Hmm? That's Aiko calling me. Hello, what's up? Ah, uh, only can. Can you talk on the phone right now? Yeah, I just got off work. I moved to a quieter area where we can talk more easily. So, what's up? I'm sorry, it looks like my friend found out about us. Huh? About our relationship? Well, I'm fine with that, personally, but are you doing okay? Yeah, I don't think it'll become a problem. But I got a bit of another problem. Save me, honey chan I'm at the shopping district's food court. Please come right away. Okay, I'll be right there. Just wait. I hang up and pocket my phone. I could call in for help, but I got no idea what's the problem. Either way, I need to hurry. But the shopping district food court, she means the one in the mall, right? I just run to where Aiko is as fast as I can. It's gonna be something stupid. It's gonna be something dumb and I'm gonna hate it, aren't I? Aren't I? Thankfully, I find Aiko as soon as I reach the food court. She's waving her hands to grab my attention, but it looks like we're not alone. Oh my god. Oh my god. She is the friend I found out, isn't she? Isn't she? Huh? Why are you here, part-timer? So, is this your boyfriend, Aiko? Wow, he really came rushing over here as soon as he called him. He must really love you. Uh, he's not a hung, but he's got an interesting face, so that's your type, Aiko. What do you mean by interesting? What I find waiting for me is a throng of girls in the same uniform as Aiko. And also, Sayuchin Sensei for some reason. She's the only one in play plain clothes. Did she skip today or something? <laughs> I'm sorry, Amy Chan. Well, these are my friends, you see? Hello, Oni-chan! We're Aiko's classmates! Ah, Aiko's been suspicious. Intr Aiko's been suspiciously into sex lately, so we made her spill the beans. Wow, I don't think she was actually dating her brother. That's crazy! Hey, why is Pike Time here? Why? Ah. I see, so they forced her to talk. So I guess this means I gotta introduce myself, huh? I'm her bro friend, say it. This is it? I really thought you were in trouble after that phone call. Uh -huh, bye. I pat Aiko on the head. Predictably, Aiko looks up at me with mushy eyes and lets out a cute voice. Call me bro friend. Dude, how are they so supportive? How? Like, they must know Aiko, you know what I mean? We're related, right? Okay, I know not by blood, but still weird, man. Like, here in America, I don't know about Japan, but here in America, if that happens, like, you would never get the end of 
swing like Alabama like you know that song Alabama jokes I'm like guy you're fucking your sister <laughs> <laughs> Are all of your friends just annoying? They're all around Aiko's age. Since Aiko's usually so mature, they must be amused to see the side of her. But it's kind of a first sight to see Aiko being teased by everyone like this. This isn't like how she is at work or at home. There are some subtle differences about how about her now that, that only I can spot. Hey, question <laughs> Hey! Answer my question already! Sayaka! Shut up too! But come on! Why are the part-timers here? That just doesn't make sense! Wait, you haven't told Sai Sayachin Sensei yet? Nah, I did tell her that my brother is my boyfriend, but I never told her that my brother is a newbie at Mood of Burger! So with that said, allow me to reintroduce you to... This is my brother, who's a, who is also my boyfriend! Hello, Sayachin Sensei! I'm Aiko's girlfriend. Oh. Saichin Sensei looks between Aiko and me with her mouth agape. So that's why you two were all over each other at the beach? Yeah, we wouldn't be. We wouldn't be even more all over each other if you weren't there. Aiko, you liar! So you did have a boyfriend after all? How rude! I never lied about it! I just never saw the need to mention it! That's still a lie! Forget about that! Tell us more about yourself, Oni-chan! Yeah, I forgot, like, how did you two fall in love? And how far have you gone? Uh-oh... The other girls ignore Saichin Sensei, howling and hurling abroad of questions at me. Judging by how curious these girls are, I can see why Aiko needs to save... needs me to save her. Let's see, it all started when we met back in elementary school. Huh? Let me tell you, you're just gonna tell them? It's not like there's any harm in telling them, is there? True, but it, it's embarrassing. Relax, I'm not gonna be an idiot and babble everything. Why? It's no big deal, come on, Aiko. What was your first impression of your brother? Honestly, I don't know. I guess it just developed without me realizing it. You see, I think romance as a concept has some aspects to it that cannot be described in words. Yeah! Well, there was a <laughs> there was a moment where I fell in love with her, but there's no fucking way I'll say it here with Aiko present. I'm sorry girls, but I got no choice but to be as vague as possible here. Well, I'd appreciate it if you don't cry too much. My relationship with Aiko is a pretty touchy topic. Just telling you now, if any of you say anything insensitive and hurt Aiko, I'm probably gonna snap. I'm probably gonna snap. Wow, Aiko, he really, really loves you. Uh, Oni chan? Aiko's cheeks grow a little redder. Man. They're just gonna keep teasing her as she keeps getting this embarrassed. What about you, Aiko? When did you fall in love with your brother? Well, maybe she's always been bragging. What? Huh? Well, she's always been bragging to us about him since. <laughs> so since forever, maybe. Come on, spill the beans, Aiko chan! <laughs> Aiko's friends poke her in her reddened cheeks. Her eyes wander conspicu conspicuously before landing on me, pleading for salvation. But I deny her. Aiko's cute when she's flustered, flustered. So I just watch her with a shit-eating grin on my face. Ah, uh, it pisses me off that she got a boyfriend before I did. Is this how it's gonna be? Then I'm gonna get... <laughs> Hey, I know you too, Sayaka! Oni-chan! 
Good luck, I go. Save me! Well, I can save you, but do you really want me doing all the talking? I'll tell them every little thing you know. Um, well... And obviously, I'm going to embellish the details. Please do! Yeah, tell us everything! Tell us about your nighttime activities, too! Wink, wink, wink! Hi, Timer, this is your chance! Give us all the embarrassing dirt you've got on Aiko right now! Stop! Mm -hmm. Aiko suddenly punches her hands against my mouth. And due to the momentum, Aiko ends up in my brace. I don't know what's going on, but it feels kind of nice to have all of this attention every now and then. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll be a bother if I just stood around and talked, so I find a seat and sit, sit in it. I gave a melodramic retelling of Aiko's story, mixed in with some snippets of Yumi Chan's route from Aiko <laughs> Gal's Piss Academy, but these girls really seem to enjoy it. Though, it is a fact that Aiko is horny as hell. Hey, mind if I ask a question now? Go ahead! What is it, Onisan? Leave Aiko aside for now. How does romance usually go for girls your age? The two of us are perverts, see? So we're not really sure what the Quote on, <laughs> what a quote-unquote normal romance is like. I've been talking quite a lot, so it's time for me to start asking the questions. Nice question, part-timer. Leave it to me, the romance master. That's a lie. That... <laughs> Why are you always lying? This girl's always lying. Sayaka, stop. Fucking lying, man. You know you're a liar, man. No, you ain't no romance master. Um, you've never even dated anyone. Well, I cause only one of, one of us who has a boyfriend. Oh, and there's a rumor that the library committee member in our class is dating the other library committee member with the long hair, right? Oh yes, that's the stuff. That's what I want to hear. When a couple is in the same class together, where do they go in the school to kiss? Huh? They just make out in front of everyone, obviously. They don't care. No, no, but I did hear that the library committee couple made out in the library when no one's around. Oh, I saw this couple from another class just casually go at it during an overnight field trip. The girls are telling me rumors from around the school. Echo doesn't join in. But she doesn't look relieved that she but she does look relieved that she's no longer the topic of discussion. <sighs> Jeez, that was so embarrassing. Echo grips my hand tight under the table, making sure the others can't see. Do, do you really want to get all clingy while your friends are poking fun at you for it? But you came right away when I call you. Thanks. Yeah. How to come rushing to your aid in 10 seconds flat if anything happened to you outside. Feeling a little bold, I interlock my fingers with Aiko's. And when I do this, I realize just how much smaller her hands are compared to mine. But you know, when couples form in the same class, it always turns into a drama fest. I know, right? A rival will appear out of nowhere, and suddenly the whole class is a witness to their love triangle drama. <laughs> Let me drink this. <sighs> Alright, I got this. You usually toss a issue by making your boyfriend your brother your boyfriend, Aiko. Yeah, but Arnie Chan's a pretty cool guy, so I can't let my guard down. He kept getting hit on the other He kept getting hit on the other day after all. Wait, what? No one told me that! Part-timer, you're that popular with the ladies when you got such a bell curve medium face? 
These two ladies with huge knockers came out of nowhere at the beach the other day. Huh? The beach? You mean when I was... When I was back then? Why, not a single hunk gave me the time of day! Why should I care? That's not my problem. That reminds me, Sayaka. Back then, you were trying to hit on Oni Chan saying you settled for him, didn't you? Uh, I... Did, did I? Aiko... Uh-oh. Aiko looks pissed. <laughs> Round one. Fight! <laughs> Saiko, what did you do? You're dead, me! My condolences! Rip in peace! Rip in pepperoni! <laughs> did they... Don't just kill me off like that! And you! Stop praying! Dong! Fight-timer! Why are you turning a bell? It's really fun to pick fun of Sai... Sai sensei I wonder if Aiko ever dreamed of falling in love with a fellow student. Due to our age gap, the only time we've ever went to the same school was when we were in middle elementary. Since he's no longer in the hot seat, Aiko's just listening to the conversation with an unconcerned look, but... Say, Aiko. Hey, what is it, Oni-chan? Have you ever dreamed of having a school time romance and flirting at school? Really? Yeah, really. Maybe because I never really imagined us going to the school together. I've always waited for you to come home and stuff. When we were little, we played together at the park, remember? But we didn't really do any of that. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what it is. My throat's like... <sighs> <sighs> You're right, now that you mention it. Since we're siblings, we had a deeper relationship outside of school. Huh, that's such a waste, Aiko. Yeah. Aiko, you seem... You seem you got an older recently, you know? Yeah, you do. Though, well, maybe you're just mature for your age. Uh-oh. How can you call me something so rude? Okay, then what sort of school life would you would have liked to have with, with part-timer? What kind of school life? Aiko looks at me, a bit stumped. What do you want me to say? Why don't you try imagining what it would be like if we were in the same class? <laughs> Sorry, Ami chan Did I keep you waiting? Day duty took longer than expected. Hey, don't worry about it. Time always goes by in a flash because I'm thinking about you. Jeez, you don't have to exaggerate like that. But thanks for waiting. I love you, Oni Chan. Whoa! Hey, come on now. We're in the classroom. Someone could catch us. It's okay. The only people still at school this late are all doing club activities. There's not a soul around who can see us. Ha! <laughs> Fine. Couldn't wait until we got home? I couldn't help it, Oni Chan. When we're together. Every single moment is magic. I wish I could hug you like this during class, too. I want to be with you all the time, too, Aiko. So, I don't care if anyone sees us. Yeah! I just want to hug you like this forever, Aiko. Oni-chan! Aiko. Kiss me, please, Oni-chan. I don't care if anyone watches. <laughs> you got it. I love you, Aiko. With all my heart. No idea what she's imagining, but Aiko's face is rapidly turning bright red. But she's also regularly glancing over at me with teary eyes. <laughs> Aiko, your face is so red! Just what were you imagining? It's gotta be something lewd. Aiko's one of those secretly slutty girls after all. Wow, Sayajin Sensei. Right on the mark. Ah, uh, yeah, totally. Hey, Aiko. What were you doing at school in that little imagination of yours? N nothing I wasn't doing anything. That's a lie. Your face, your eyes are... <laughs> your eyes are wandering all over the place. <laughs> Ami-chan! 
As the other girls laugh at her, Aiko comes crying to me. I don't think I've ever seen Aiko this overwhelmed before. Well, it's Aiko we're talking about. She maybe So maybe she was having sex with in the classroom. Wow, how bold! That's not true! Uh... How about the bathroom at work? Anyway... Okay, girls, just think about where we're, we are right now. Uh. We're in the food court, a public area. It's uh, in inappropriate for young ladies to be talking about such dirty things in public. Really? Like... What? Inappropriate? Bruh. I remember... <laughs> I'm gonna out myself right now. I remember talking to my friends about this girl and like what I want to do with her. I'm not gonna lie, man. When this new girl came, she had the big, big, you know, uh, personality. No, she had big boobs and a good booty. And I was like, I want that. But I was too much of a bitch back then. Like, if I was how I am now, I'll probably, I could probably get it. I'm not gonna lie, man. But back then, I was. Mmm, a little bitch. I was, I was, I swear I was. <laughs> okay, anyway, it's not that bad. And also, I said a lot of stuff in public. Weed, um, crimes we committed with my homies and my brother. Like, you know, it's... Come on, man. Come on, fool. You, you can't say this is inappropriate. Like, who's gonna, like a young, like an old lady, like, How dare you, girls? Girls are talking so dirty. I never did that when I was a kid. Like, you know what I mean? You, no old person could be a hypocrite. I guess we may have got a little overboard, huh? Oh, in that case, let's go to karaoke. That way we get a private room and talk as dirty as we want. Great idea. Okay, I go part timer. Let's go. Huh? What? Wait, I haven't agreed to go yet. But you're coming, right? Only son. Come on, I'm, I'm gonna be your escort for today. Whoa, she tugs me by my arm and casually pushes her chest against me. Hey, hey, don't just link arms with Oni Chan like that. <laughs> Looks like Aiko's jealous. If you want me to let go of his arm, then you're gonna have to come to the karaoke with us. Okay, fine, I'll go. Aiko grabs and pulls my arm away from her friends. It looks like she won't let anyone else have my arm, even if it's just, even if it's just a, as a joke. Okay then, let's go everyone! And thus, Aiko's friends kidnap Aiko and me, and take us out for karaoke. Okay, time for Sayachin to take the stage! Hey, just, don't just sing on your own, Sayaka! Save the girl's cue for- <laughs> Says, says the girl queuing up a bunch of songs? Ah, since when? First up is... Oh, isn't this your song, Aiko? Man, I should not have ate before this. Ugh. Like, I'm burping like crazy right now. Yeah, alrighty. Time to sing my heart out. Aiko seems really enthusiastic as he sings... Starts to sing. Perhaps since they can't bully her while she's singing. I don't think I've ever seen Aiko like this before. She's in her uniform, having fun with her friends at karaoke. I don't normally get to see her having fun with her friends like this. It's quite nice. Hi, Timer. Why are you staring at Aiko with such a gentle look? I'm really enjoying seeing this, this, this new side of her. I never paid much attention to who Aiko hangs out with. So I never knew what she was like around her friends. I guess not, huh? You don't really get any opportunities to see her at school or anything. Speaking of which, what's Aiko's like at what's Aiko like at school? I did ask a little about what other girls' school time life school times school time love lives are like, but I didn't ask about Aiko's general school life yet. Aiko doesn't really talk much about school either. To explain what she's like, but it's completely different from when you're around. Yeah, she acts completely different around you. She's nowhere near as clingy. We never seen Aiko this fast from blushy before. 
seriously? Echo doesn't react to boys at school at all. Get out, Moto Moto Burger. Seattle's both customers and staff with prompt professionalism. Ha, huh, that's true. She seems like an expert at handling customers that come there just to hit on her. With that in mind, I kind of see what they're talking about. Saisin Sensei takes the mic and starts singing with even more gusto than Aiko. So, Ami chan, who are you talking? Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, sorry, I just love this song. Ah, ah. I'm not gonna lie. At first, I'm like, ah, this soundtrack be weak. But now it's like, uh, mm, mm. it's be popping, man. The soundtrack be popping. Sony Chan, what were you talking about? I was asking about what's your life at school. What you're like at school. Look, look, I understand the sentiment, but you can't at least humor the boys at school a little more. Yeah, Aiko, you never give other boys the time of day. Those poor things. Uh, in hon it's honestly hard to imagine. I never considered the possibility before. Imagine Aiko in her classroom at lunch. <laughs> imagine Aiko's in her classroom at lunchtime, eating a handmade bento with another boy. She then gives that boy a smile that she'd never shown him before. And she's even half feeding him. Stop. When they describe it like that, I can't help but see those scenes in the back of my head. No! Please don't ever leave me! I won't! Why are you crying? It's just our imagination! Rude. It's not like I wanted to imagine it. I guess it's more prone to jealousy than I thought. Don't underestimate... <laughs> don't underestimate Edo gamers! Our heights are especially more na naive than normies! Your brother really is a weirdo, huh? No one cares, Saika. No one cares. No one cares. No one cares. No one cares, Saika. No one cares about your stupid ass singing. And that was so fun! I had a blast! It sure was! Only time was this new thing, too! Time just flew by! We hang out for hours before we finally disperse. It's dark out, so be careful on your way back, everyone. Okay! Ah, I go part-timer. What's your plans after this? Plans? Nothing really, right? Yeah, the two of us are just gonna go home. We're siblings, and the two of us live together. Which means there's nothing else for us to do but go home. Going home together? It's like you're already married. Why don't you just get married already in that case? You're not blood related, so it's all good. Mm. Hmm? Something about what they just said doesn't seem to sit well with Aiko. It doesn't look like they're doesn't look like she's gonna explode, but Okay, that's enough chit chat. Time to go home. If you stay out too late, you might get attacked by some pervert. That's right, a pervert, just like me. <laughs> it's so funny, Oni Chan. But you're right. Our parents are worried if we're out too late. Okay, bye, Oni. Okay, Oni Chan. Aiko, see you later. Bye bye. See you at school, Aiko. I'm part timer. Remember to show me some respect as your senpai, Muda Muda Burger. The girls say their farewell before heading home. Once we see them off, Aiko places my hand on. No, I place my hand on Aiko's head. You got mad just now, didn't you? Hmm? Did I let that show my face? A little. I don't think your friends noticed, though. I only noticed because we've been together for so long. Aiko blushes a little and grips my hand on her head. Honey, Ken, shall we go home too? Yeah, let's. 
We hold our hands as lovers do, our fingers intertwine, and then we start walking at a gentle leisurely pace. You see, I kind of wish it didn't tease us about how we should just get married already. I go let's have a sigh. Seriously about the topic lately, you see? So when they just casually joke about it, it made me mad. I see. Well, that sort of stuff happens. <laughs> I can't believe my friends found out about us. What a disaster. It'll be a problem if everyone treats us like a couple. Oh, is that it? It's rare to see Aiko complain like this, so I can't help but laugh. I mean, remember what you declared to me? He said he wanted me to see you as a woman and not a little sister. <laughs> and yet, you don't like everyone else treating us like we're a couple, telling us that we should get married. To me, it seems like a pretty big step in getting me to see you as a woman. Aiko looks away with a, with a pout. Mm. But she doesn't let go of my hand. In fact, she squeezes it tighter. I'm such a pain, aren't I? But I like that about you. This is this fine too, every now and then. Deep down, I think my bond to her as a brother is stronger than a, as a partner. I'm aware of that. But either way, that doesn't change the fact that I love her. Making lovers! <laughs> is it me or is this route so long? It's so long. Like, why is it so long? Oh. Oh, we got a date with Michael. It's about to end soon. Normally, when it's the second date, it's like, what? Two, three more episodes? Cool. Nice, nice. Dude, I've been coming up with, um, at least a script for, um, you know, making a review on this game. And I'm so excited. Like, it's not gonna be out right away, but I'm thinking, like, a couple of days after I finish the series, you know? Or maybe the next day, I might start, like, recording it, like, you know, prematurely. Come on. It's not bad if it's premature, right? They say that premature, you know comes out like it's more sweeter you know if you don't get it then you don't get it I, i'm sorry anyways i'm gonna go but before i go i want you to do three no four things for me i want you to beat up the like button i want you to fucking stab stab that motherfucking subscribe button kick jump that bell notification and comment down below that i am the best vato in the video <laughs> Alrighty, I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, this is Gatsane, farewell, and as always... <laughs>